In this section of his autobiography, Harama Fuji recalls his first mesmerizing steps on the hallowed Kokugikan Dokyo, and his first full tournament as a professional, sticking closely to the theme of man more than slightly lost in a foreign land. The November 2000 trip to Fukuoka, mentioned in the previous video, was merely for him to train and observe. Haruma's first pre-sumo match would take place the following January. Returning to Tokyo for the run-up, he noticed the training grow markedly tougher, the volume of charging practice especially. My guest status in the stable was gradually eroded, is how he wittily puts it. Towards the end of December, he was surprised to find the stable's communal room play host to an ever-growing pile of gifts, sent by fans to his seniors. We'd never celebrated Christmas in Mongolia, he informs us, as we receive our gifts from the so-called bearded man on New Year's Eve. Casting an envious eye on my seniors, I dreamed of climbing that rankings chart and making sufficient impression to receive my own presents someday. A Tokyo January he describes as very mild when compared to Mongolia's average of minus 18 degrees, but admits to feeling cold for the first few minutes of morning practice before his body warmed up. However, he adds, that first January in Japan, 2001, I was pumped for my impending pro debut, and as such, barely noticed the morning cold. The start of his sterling sumo career came on day three of that tournament, when he was taken to the Kokuigikan by a senior stablemate to compete in the unranked Mai Sumo or Pre Sumo class. To remind you of how long ago this was, the tournament was won by a 28 year old Takano Hana, who defeated his fellow Yokozuna Musashi Maru in a playoff. And a 20 year old Asashoryu was making his top division debut at Maegashira 12. Haruma Fuji recalls At 8 am, along with my fellow debutants, I practiced the ritualistic actions outside the changing rooms. I was told to mount the dohyo when my name was called, offer a polite bow, crouch into position, and then fight. When the match was over, I was to walk backwards into position bow once more, and squat to hear the referee wail my name, were I lucky enough to win. I took the well-built men explaining all this to us for coaches, but later learned they were so-called wakaimono gashida, ex-wrestlers serving as support staff. The remaining time before the bout I spent warming up with foot stamps, and thinking how deeply moving it was to be fighting on the very dohyo I had seen on my home TV. And I told myself, I so have to win this match. I'm sure you can imagine just how huge and daunting that dimly lit arena seems to a teenager beneath a roof some 30 meters up, just under which 32 portraits of recent title winners hang. Haruma Fuji speaks of a tingling sensation as he was shown to the stage, the tension noticeably heightening. He continues, We seated ourselves at ringside, rose to our feet to welcome the entering judges with a bow, and then sat down again. I remember the Yobidashi calling out my new ring name of Ama, safe horse, but the tension I felt erased all ensuing memories of the bout. I have no recollection of it, other than I lost. It's a 30 minute walk in regular shoes from the arena to his stable, thus providing plenty of time for brooding over defeat. In sandals, it takes even longer, especially, he says, when the pain of defeat makes them feel freighted with lead. Thankfully though, I could still graduate my Zumo that week, he writes and earn my first official ranking of Jonokuchi 29 West for the coming March. Ever the fast learner, Haruma's improvement on the practice dohyo ensured that the March event went markedly better, ending with a perfect 7-0 record and the Division 6 title. Suddenly, the scrawny teenager was summoned to the ring in front of a packed final day crowd and the TV cameras to receive his certificate his nerves causing him to wobble. 
his Japanese listening skill yet basic, he couldn't catch the elder names and had no idea who handed him the certificate. What he does remember is phoning his mother. The whole family is delighted with you, she said. Make sure you keep listening carefully to what your coach, his wife, and all the others are telling you. Thus did his first professional tournament end, and the cherry trees reach full bloom. It was the first time I had seen the resplendent pink of the cherry blossom petals, shining symbols of Japan, and I was spellbound, says Haruma, buttering up his Japanese readers. And, when walking underneath those arches of pink in my kimono and clogs, I felt rather like a samurai. But I was so thin, I must confess, the kimono had to be practically wrapped around me in multiple layers, as did the obi sash, and I looked more chrysalis than cool. With my face covered in pimples, and my hair not yet long enough to form the top knot, I felt rather embarrassed to parade myself. But being in the spotlight was something this successful 16-year-old foreigner would not only have to accept, but not let go to his head, lest his stable seniors grow jealous.